Hello darling, welcome back to another video that is filled with tips and tricks to help you grow your channel. On this video, as you can see on the title above, I am sharing step by step on how I edit my videos on iMovie so that they are engaging. They are gorgeous without any professional experience. If you're brand new here, I am Satems and I got you. <laughs> So, before I actually start sharing my step-by-step -step editing process on iMovie, I just want to share, I do use my cell phone to shoot, which I'm going to show you on screen, and my basic ring light, and then I have a laptop. That's basically all I need. If you don't have a laptop to edit, you can use your cell phone. That's what I used for my first 30 videos, and it really does work pretty well. And eventually, you'll upgrade as you need to. On screen right now, there's the overview of how I edit step by step and you are absolutely welcome to skip to whichever part that you would love to really learn i would suggest you watch the entire video so that you have a clear vision of how it's done it's simple and it's to the point my very first step is to upload my content and organize it <laughs> So, as you can see, the first thing I do is to airdrop the content to the laptop. Darling, it's a must. There we go. So the laptop will be doing all the magical, lovely stuff. And there we go. When the content arrives, we take it out of the downloads. And I would love putting my things on desktop because it's easily accessible. Then I create a folder a folder that i can just put all the videos that i have just created so that they again easily accessible and i love my screen empty i can't deal and then you just rename it how i edit my imovie darling and then you plop all of them in your folder and then you are done The second part of the video can be very tedious. Video after video, you will learn how to do it faster and you will learn the information that is important. This is where you cut off all the ums, all the things that you're not sure of when you are looking down. This is where you cut off anything that is not going to add value to the video at all. So, the way I would do this part is me just listening. So, when we get here, Whenever you see that flat line, it means there's nothing happening. And as you can see, I already cancelled that out because I can see there's absolutely nothing. That's me just checking and getting ready and just double checking the camera if it's working. I'm usually at the beginning here, but there's a lot of other things that you obviously would cut that are unnecessary at all. So I'm going to cut that and that's how you do that. And when you get here, you'll continue. This is the next clip. And you see, you play it, nothing is happening. And you'll wait, 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 wait. Before that, I'll always go just a little back. You use Command B to cut. So that's always amazing for me um, as a shortcut. And then you delete that and then you continue listening. On screen right now, there's the basic overview. On screen right now, there's the overview of how so after that I will continue doing all of that and then you'll see this part also there's clearly nothing happening command B and we will command B and then we press it and it's gone and then we'll come here to just double checking definitely nothing happening so command B and we kill that too so you continue this for at least I think for me it takes me 30 minutes to an hour depending on how long or informative the video and filled mistakes the video is because if it's anything this is very vital you want to get rid of everything because after this you're gonna have fun with the creative edits <laughs> Okay, so this is where we do the creative edits. It's my favorite part. It is fun. I mean, you play around lighting. Can you see the difference? Can you see the difference? Let's go back. This is where you also have the zoom in. This is the normal zoom in where you literally get your what you want to see on screen. Or there's another zoom in that takes its time, darling. We call it the Ken's Burn. This one travels 
This is where you also play with your voice. This is where you play with the transitions as well as the jingle. What I would love for you to please be familiar with is actually the compartments of the editing. There are three. There's the top layer, middle layer, and the layer at the bottom. For you to understand easily as I'm going along, as you can see, I've already folded with a few things. It's wild on screen. The top layer is anything that is, let me just press here. It's anything that is a picture on picture a cutaway green or blue screen or split screen so that's anything that you'd like to add on top of the main thing that is showing on screen then the middle one is you showing the main thing what you're communicating the main media on screen and then the bottom one this is where you have all your sound you have your jingles and any sound that you really want to use during the editing as well as any voiceovers that you might be taking during your editing darling first step that i do when i edit my videos is enhancing as you can see this little function here in the middle it enhances your video it makes you more beautiful shiny and glamorous darling and we'll click here and we'll press that can you see that i just love the subtle change and it's always gorgeous throughout the video and what i'll do i would select all my clips and go to the top and enhance them there we go and that's what i'll do with all my videos but i'll do that a little bit later i do want to focus on the few things that i'd like to teach you here at the beginning the next thing after that i saw something that's very annoying here in front and it's that blue thing oh let me click on this it's literally this i can't deal with it so we'll do the normal crop to fill crop to fill you go on the top of the screen and you erase it and this crop to fill i would like my wall away and just see my screen and a little bit of space here for my social media and voila let's check that hello darling welcome back to another video that is filled with tips and tricks to help you grow your channel perfect that's how it is i like that and then when i come here i know that i would love to do actually another crop so that when i say i got you just to emphasize the drama darling because i got you when it comes to this editing thing let's check it again and how that would work <laughs> without any professional experience if you're brand new here i am satems and i got you <laughs> There we go. And then finally, um, the Ken's Burn. I would like to add the Ken's Burn here. My video is already enhanced gorgeously. Let's see how we can add Ken's Burn. How's this video? The second part of the video can be very tedious. There we go. The Ken's Burn is already added. I love it. Oh, how you add your Ken's Burn? You just come here, add your Ken's Burn, and where you want your video to start and where you want it to end, and it will do the movement. This is just to enhance it so that it's not always still and there's a bit of drama, darling. When it comes to overlays and transition, the very first thing that I'm going to show you is how I add my green screen. My subscription green screen comes from the internet, I downloaded that, but when it comes to my social media, which I'll add here, as you can see on screen, this is the one. I can help you with the social media green screen. I made that myself for free on Keynote. You can just comment on the box below and just share with me that you'd like me to assist you and I'll gladly do that for you. I'd like to just cut this extra bit. I know I remember there was an extra bit there. A green screen, how you make that green disappear, you come to the top and you press green screen and the computer will naturally take away everything that's a background and because i'd like my holes on social media to actually last the whole screen i'll just come to speed and then i'll just go to custom and add hmm, i'll say 50 percent 60 percent 60 percent let's see that's gorgeous i like that so as you will see if i go like that my social media is on screen gorgeously darling okay after social media i'll do the transition when it comes to the transition i love smooth gorgeous transition especially after 
another transition which is basically another overlay i'll come here let's say we add swap just directly after that check the swap so that you see how it goes let's check it out okay so there we go I, I love that you can edit how fast you want the swap ifs by just double clicking them i like mine one second which is the generic swap i think i do have a very a faster swap somewhere here it is two seconds if you want to check this is how a faster swap would go very tedious video after video can you see it's smooth it's fast it's just you speaking i love those the next thing after that are these overlays how i do these overlays i've already done the next one so that i don't waste your time what i would do i would go to keynote when i get to keynote just use these i've copied and pasted them already because i've already i'm done for the video but i'm going to show you what i do basically so that we're on the same page let me create an overlay for sound which is something that i need to still show you how i do sound darling there we go for a bit of you know honestly my computer's giving me problems i'm just going to screenshot the sound there we go and then i'm going to go edit to the actual video with the sound this is where you enhance your video musically darling and you'll go right here on top on audio and depending on what kind of music that you have if you have something cool that you've downloaded online will probably pop on music and if you have saved it on your hard drive or something like that you'll go that side but you can always use what iMovie provides which is what I'm gonna be using right now as you can see where this transition is occurring there is no jingle there and I'm gonna come and select my generic one that I've been using let's kill that and then let's make it equal there we go and let's try and see what happens yeah. gorgeous you can play around different audios that are provided there are textures transportation sci-fi stingers jingle sports i love using a lot of these especially people here we go you can listen to them yourself Before I even end the video, if you enjoyed this, please show some love by liking it below. And if you haven't joined the Darling family, please don't forget to subscribe down below and click that bell button so that you can get your instant notification. If you are thinking of video ideas and you have none on your page because you are planning and you're trying to start this YouTube, I have a video idea video that I made for you last week and I'll attach it at the end of this video actually here on the screen so you can help yourself with that. Otherwise, Darling. The very last part is export completed video. I remember I thought this was very easy. It is, but you need to take note of a few things. You go on your top right corner and you go to export and you want to name your video how I edit my videos on iMovie right simple and then you go to you leave the description tags also you leave you'll do that on YouTube then the format make sure that it's video and audio not audio only and then resolution make sure that it's 4k because I did shoot it with a cell phone and I want my quality to remain as high as possible so that you can enjoy this video and then quality it's either low or medium don't go to high best res because or pro res because that is way too high and unnecessary and let me tell you something darling it will not save and then compressor i always go for better quality because darling that's what we love and then after that we are done with the video thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you have any questions please share them on the box below and if you have any other suggestions on iMovie that you know that you love using you can be just added on that comment box below i would love love Love, love to learn your tips and tricks to edit fast beautifully and don't forget to say next 
and save your video. I'm gonna add my hard drive because right now I don't have enough space. Otherwise, from me to you, I am Sitem's darling.